Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and in today's video we'll be answering the question, what are connected vertices? So we begin our adventure, of course, with this graph called G. Now let's say that you were over here at vertex V1, and you had to get over here to V3, but you could only travel across edges of G to get there. Would you be able to do it? Take a second. Of course, you see, you can do it. In fact, you can cross this edge, going to V6, and then cross this edge, and bam, your voyage is done, you are at V3. The fact that you can do that means that V1 and V3 are connected in the graph G. Two vertices are connected if and only if there exists some path that connects them. Of course, in this case, there are multiple paths that connect these vertices. You could have got there by going this way, or going this way, or a number of other ways. Similarly, two vertices like V4 and V2 are also connected because there exists a path that connects the vertices. For example, one of those paths goes from V2 to V6, then from V6 to V5, and then from V5 finally to V4. That path connects the vertices V2 and V4, thus V2 and V4 are connected. But then if we look at a different pair of vertices, let's say V5 and V9, these vertices are not connected because there does not exist a path that connects them in this graph. Indeed, the only vertices that V9 is connected to are V7 and V8. It also happens to be adjacent to those, which is certainly sufficient for them to be connected. Also, V7 is only connected to V9 and V8, and of course V8 is only connected to V7 and V9. And this component of the graph is sort of beginning to resemble a top-tier YouTube clickbait thumbnail. But that aside, that's what connected vertices are. Two vertices are connected if there exists a path that connects them. So if you can get from one vertex to another by traversing edges in the graph, then they are connected vertices. And if you can't, then they are not connected, and in fact, we can say that they are disconnected vertices. But that's really all there is to it, so I hope this video helped you understand what connected vertices are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can't wait.